Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. So I just had to do, go doing the Mafia job, which is here. Um, and it didn't work on two fronts. Most of the buttons just didn't work on the keyboard. I don't know why it didn't work. In the game, I suspect, not the keyboard. So we'll give up on that and then I just got completely owned. So we could go for this one. Uh, we can try the freighter in the Hades Gamma Cluster. loads of them. Did you tell me which one to go for? Yeah, you did. Far and Arter. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, so interestingly, that's the same mission I got given in the other cluster, which was completely different, and cluster in, you know, the other side of the galaxy. So we found a large deposit of thorium. Scans of Juntorma reveal a derelict freighter in mid-stage orbital decay. Your salvage team boarded the vessel and determined it had been attacked by raiders. There was little value on board, but the team did find a Prothean disc. Ah, so I think this ship, the Ontario, which is a Kowloon-class modular conveyor of human design, configured for freight and passenger hauling, is making a hard burn for the cover of an asteroid cluster. That must be the quest we come here to do. Got some magnesium from a rocky asteroid. Oh, interesting. So I do not know where Admiral Hackett's job is then. Oops, sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. Oh, there's millions of them. 
kill the hostage. Hey, that was a bad plan. Damn, let's move. You I must will die. Destroy you. I, will I will destroy you. you. You must die. I will destroy you. Well, one thing for sure is I'm getting destroyed. I, I can't argue you. with that, honestly. I don't know about you, but I would call that a clusterfuck. I go, can't go, see go. a thing. Think we're good, Commander. I think that's unlikely. You know, I really can't see anything. <laughs> the only good thing is the game did an auto save. Let's go straight for the X. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. I don't think calm down is gonna help me out. I mean, I don't know, Chairman Burns, take him out. I think I'll just kill you instead. Take cover! Go, go, go! What other abilities do you guys have? Blocked. Do we have a... I don't know who you're targeting. Let's go for warp. Distort everything. I will destroy you! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! I will destroy you! Go, go, go! No, oh, that didn't work, did it? He's dead. Ah, oh, shit. Dead and done. Just the way I like them. No, oh, I think we're actually meant to save him there, Rex. Still, they're not going to be slavering anymore. Or pirating anymore. I can't remember what they were doing wrong now. Oh man, the mouse is just behaving like crap again on this screen. Got to say, the controls really, really don't work. I don't know if you just saw just now, but I just started running into the wall and the door, and I wasn't actually pressing run into anything. I don't know if it's because I'm holding the push to talk button, but I think it's unlikely, because I'm not sure I was at that time. I think the controls just don't work as well with the, you know, the newer operating system, the newer mouse, and the newer keyboard, I guess. That's the only logic I have. Has it disappeared? Oh, the moon it was not this moon, it was the Earth's moon. Okay. What quest was this I was doing? Did 
don't know. I guess maybe I failed the mission. No, I can't have done. Let's go for... No, that's the wrong way around. We want newest. So it's definitely not Rogue VI. But it's definitely not data recovery. Okay, I think the answer is probably cock this one up. Okay, I don't know how hard this is going to be. We'll go to the Yangtze system in the Voyager cluster and investigate Cerberus activities on Binthu. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Byrne's death was regrettable, but I trust you did everything you could to save him. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, well, no, we actually passed it. Near enough, anyway. I don't think these things are actually very important. I think it's probably one of those side quests in the journal. But I think the chance of completing it is pretty small, to be honest. So we found another data disc on the far side of Alramenta. Joker brought the Normandy around, and your salvage team picked up a small escape pod trapped in orbit. There was a long dead Turian inside, along with a few personal items and a Prothean data disc. I'm guessing the Prothean data disc is going to be the most interesting side quest. You know, those collection challenges. So brilliant on that planet. Ah, I've been through is where we're actually going, isn't it? Oh, there's several research facilities. Let's go to Anomaly and go clockwise. At least this planet looks a lot easier to traverse than most of them. Like, it's not smooth, but it's not terrible either. Ah, oh, there's guards supposed to get there. Don't know if we can get this thresher more to eat them. Oh, well, I was not expecting that. That actually is an On anomaly. This is an alien thing, isn't it? Wow, Prothean Pyramid. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. It wouldn't move. There are a few children's toys and some ragged clothes stuffed inside of the top of this monument, along with the Prothean data disk. I'll do 
do level up in a minute. Like on the map, there might have been another there. Okay, I think we're good. I guess because you're here for your uh, abilities, we should probably increase those instead. <laughs> it's, it's an awful lot like all these other buildings. The one with the Mafia was exactly this building as well. But I got owned in that one, so hopefully this will work a bit better. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. What on earth is that? Is that a Rachni? <laughs> Come on, back off. Is that helpful? Yeah, I think it probably is helpful, actually. Incoming! I actually meant to grenade the first time, by the way. Oh, you two don't have, like, getting in the way and completely ignoring everything I ask you to do. Grenades. I'm always pressing the wrong button there. I'm on. I don't know why he won't shoot. Oh, because you're trying to do that, is it? You must die. You must die. You've eliminated the threat at this facility. Continue to one of the other labs. So it looks like they're training Rachni here. I don't know if we knew that already or not. Okay, so that is that is the place, is it? No, it looks like there's something behind this door. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. I have a feeling that we've probably missed loads of stuff in there. Let's 
still, unless the difficulty is radically different on the other bases, it should be okay. I wonder how Cerberus managed to miss that pyramid then. Heading to position. Oh, I'm going to miss it. And that wasn't even the controls fault, that was just me not being very good. I can snipe from this machine. Uh, the guns don't turn up properly, do they? Is that one there? No, I don't think that's going to do anything, is it? Only two. Good. What's that down there? Ah, oh, we'll get there eventually. Let's try not fighting everything at once if we can. So. Come on, guys, get them, get them. Go, go, run, run. Enemy is everywhere! I wonder if in other LPs they have really exciting combat. Where they don't run away all the time and do a professional Hold job. The line. No, probably not. I think actually it was probably easy with this thing down, wasn't it? Adding out. I am actually telling them to come and stand next to me. That's what the beeping is. It's 
sniper rifle seems pretty powerful. I've lost shields. There we go. Let's head to that Not the world's most professional shepherd. job, but again, this we got the job done. This is my kind of mission. Whenever you are. Is there really no loot in here at all? Well, that's pretty disappointing. some palladium and I think that's the one that's left due east pretty much I leap right into that one somehow. We can see anything through there. What are they doing? Just running around. And there's no rack now in there. I didn't catch what was in the previous uh, <laughs> Ah, the sitting Thorian creepers here. Rear Admiral Kahuka, that sounds familiar. Time to get Kahoku some payback. Perimeter secured. Oh no. You check for a pulse, but find none. Admiral Kahoka is dead. Despite the ferocity of the creature he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Over there. It's Admiral Kahoku. I guess Cerberus found him after all. That's pretty tragic. I mean, this quest was pretty much the very definition of filler, wasn't it? right down to doing exactly the same thing three times.
Oh, well, that's tragic. Well, I think we can confidently file this planet under filler and end the episode. Thank you for watching. Vermeer is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. All fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. With a rare combination of features, Nepnew is of particular interest to the scientific community. Nepnew is a small terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. As with all the worlds of Farinata, its surface is scorching hot. The crust mainly consists of silicates laced with iron. Juntorma is a small, broiling terrestrial world. Its thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane is being steadily blown off by the powerful solar wind from the star Farinata. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of sulphur with deposits of copper. Its density is low enough to leave the world tidally locked to Farinata. The Alliance Defence Data Network notes that several ships have been spotted cruising near Juntorma with transponders turned off. While an Alliance patrol attempted pursuit of one, the unidentified vessel rabbited to FTL. Its trail was lost when it obscured its light trace in the confusion of signals along the Anansi Ishtar shipping lane. The MSV Ontario is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design, configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. It is making a hard burn for the cover of an asteroid cluster. Tun Shagan is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and nitrogen in its atmosphere. It has an unusually small number of moons for a gas giant, a mere seven. This is no doubt due to the star Farinata capturing the majority of the mass during the nebula collapse that created the system. Patagiri has a thin atmosphere composed of neon and chlorine. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of silica with deposits of copper. During the long, cold night, the chlorine in the atmosphere falls to the ground in the form of frost. Alrumta is a small, rocky terrestrial planet with a trace atmosphere of nitrogen and krypton. Its frigid surface is mainly composed of light metals with deposits of frozen ammonia. Dredger is a small, barren rock world with a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The surface is frigid and mainly composed of silicates with deposits of magnesium, aluminium and other light metals. Dredger has a weak magnetic field, making it unsuitable for drive discharge operations. Binthu has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide with a permanent haze of toxic chlorine and clouds of sulphur dioxide that periodically drop torrents of acid rain on the surface. Its crust is mainly composed of sulphur with deposits of calcium. Like most worlds in the Voyager cluster, Binthu has only been charted within the last 20 years by Alliance surveyors. It has no known native ecology. Data about the world is surprisingly brief and generic, painting a picture of an unpleasant and uninteresting place. 
Renchato is a close orbiting hot Jupiter with traces of sulfur in its hydrogen helium atmosphere. The disrupted gravity well of the gas giant prevented any planets from forming nearby. 